Hey friends, welcome to our homestead, welcome to our channel. I haven't seen you in a while, and I'm gonna explain why right now. Well, we are back, I'm happy to be back, and this is the longest period of time that we've gone without making a video ever on our channel in almost nine years. You'll have to excuse the raspy voice. I'm pretty sick right now, and I've got my mullion leaf tea to help break up mucus in my chest. So where were we? Contrary to popular belief, we did not get kicked off YouTube or get another strike or anything like that. We had to fly overseas, unfortunately, for a funeral of a close family member. My brother-in-law, my wife's little brother, uh, he was only 28 years old in the Philippines. He was a pastor and, you know, something happened. I'm not going to get into details about it, but yeah, this is the longest period of time I've ever gone without um, making a video. And it doesn't matter because um, I know all of you are going to stick around and hang out and a lot of you have emailed me and I really appreciate that. And uh, thank you for asking if everything was okay. And yeah, we're doing good. And the, uh, the homestead looks a little worse for wear uh, when we got home, but that's no big deal. I'll get it back in shape. And uh, things were pretty dry here in Texas while we were gone. I had some friends and neighbors help me out. Thank you to all of you who were able to help me out with uh, collecting eggs and you know uh, checking on the, the baby chicks and all of that kind of stuff. And it was very helpful to have good neighbors and friends who are willing to help out when you have an emergency and you have to go somewhere. I'm trying really hard not to cough in this video. I've had to stop it several times for a coughing session and uh, I'll just edit out all of that. But yeah, um, we were over there for two and a half weeks and you know, uh, he lived a good life. He was a, a great kid and he was a good pastor and mentor to a lot of people. Um, everybody misses him, um, but you know, there's nothing we can do about it. So um, we all moved on and we're all moving on and uh, we have good memories and that's all you can do. And you hope to see him on resurrection morning. So that is a big thing for us and um, we hold that hope dear. So what are we going to do here on the homestead? Well, you know, honestly, we've got everything dialed in pretty good. You know, there's a lot of cleanup to do right now. That's the way it is. There's some fall planting I can do, but the garden is just destroyed right now with weeds. Uh, since we had to let it rest this year, I haven't spent much time out there to um, keep the weeds under control. I just kind of pushed it off to the side for other projects, unfortunately. But... Um, I've got a solar project coming up. I'm helping out a friend with his solar system and it's kind of a different application. So that'll be interesting for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Um, trying to think of some other little projects. I'm putting up a tree house for the kids. So that's kind of a neat thing, but that one just kind of got stopped in its tracks as well. I've got a lot of things kind of half done and hopefully I can get moving on them. But first things first. I need to get healthy again. I need some rest. I'm still battling jet lag. We just got back, I don't know how many hours ago, less than 48 hours ago. I don't even know. It's hard to count when you're flying from all the way around the other side of the world and you're going backwards and you're back in the same day. It's very confusing. I don't envy anybody who travels to Japan for business. I got to say that. You know, I'd love to hear from you about what you'd want to see on the channel. And if I can do it, I will. Usually the projects that I do do are things that I'm going to do anyway, or that I, I've always wanted to add to the property. And, you know, I'm just kind of running out of those things to be quite serious with you. Um, everything's in place, like I said before. So if there's anything you want to see me touch on, if I can touch on it, then I will. So that's it. We'll see you in a week or so. I've got to get back up and running again and get back in the groove. Thank you all for being here. Have a beautiful, blessed day. See you next time. Bye.